I'm Jason DeSalvo from Federa Guitars, and very often we get asked about how to take care of your bass and how to take care of your fingerboard. And there's a lot of misinformation out there, so we just want to take a few quick seconds to talk about this. Uh, first thing, in terms of storing your bass on a regular basis, if you would be comfortable, chances are your bass will be comfortable. So, generally, we recommend between 50 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit and between 40 and 60% relative humidity. The less rapid the changes in those temperatures and humidities, the better for the instrument. So something to keep in mind in terms of where you store things. Next up, I wanted to talk about fingerboard materials. We use different kinds of fingerboard materials. Some materials, like bird's eye maple or purple heart, things like that, are painted and they don't really need any regular maintenance because the paint seals the wood and that's all that has to be done. Any oily wood that is not spray finished is prone to drying and cracking if not oiled on a regular basis. A minimum of once every six months. If you live in a very dry climate or sweat a lot, every three months is even better. I'm gonna show you how to do that. It's very simple, it's not expensive, and it's one of the best ways to prevent your fingerboard from cracking or checking. There's a lot more detailed meat and potatoes kind of stuff on the website at www.federa.com where you've got pages and videos and detail. We're just covering things briefly here about your fingerboard and taking care of your base. We like to use mineral oil, right? It's available in any pharmacy anywhere in the world. And if you can put it in your body and eat it, you can put it on your fingerboard. Avoid the mineral oils that have all kinds of perfumes and things like that that are sometimes used to take care of your skin. This has to be the kind of mineral oil that you could actually swallow, right? And also we recommend avoiding a lot of the fingerboard preparations that are commercially available. They're more expensive and some of them actually do more harm than good. So when we do this, obviously start by taking your strings off, which I'm gonna do right now. All right, so I've loosened the tuners up here, and one of the nice things about our Federa bridge is you've got the quick release down here. So I can move my strings aside without having to completely take them off the machine heads up top, which just saves a little time. You know, it makes it a little bit easier. So I kind of, as you see, pull my strings to the side and expose the fingerboard. Now, one of two things, if I have not done this in a long time, what I may use is some 4-0 steel wool, right? Which looks like this, and the grade is 4-0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, so four zeros. The issue about doing this, if I'm gonna work with steel wool, I have to cover my pickups. If I don't, I can get very fine pieces of steel wool in the pickups. If I've done this recently, I might just use paper towel. In this case, I'm gonna show you both. So remember, your pickups are very sensitive magnets and we don't wanna get steel wool filings in it. So this is painter's tape. We call it blue tape, what have you. It's, very, it's, a, it's a form of masking tape that has very light stickiness to it, so it's easily removed. And it does a really great job of covering pickups. Now, I take my steel wool, Take my oil, put a little bit of oil on the steel wool. This will also clean any oxidation off of your fretting surface, which is nice. It gives you nice shiny frets, but it's not changing the shape of the frets in any way. So your base will look like new. Now again, the, the downside to this is there are these little steel wool fibers that if you don't cover your pickups, you're gonna get steel wool all over your pickups, and that could short them out, especially if they have, uh, especially if they have pole pieces that are exposed. All right, so I've done this. I'm gonna put this well out of the way, and then you don't really need to let this soak in for very long, okay, if you do the steel wool. Then I will just rub off Look at all that lovely gunk, right? That's finger grease, dirt, what have you. So you're cleaning at the same time that you're protecting, which is a win-win. 
and you really got to wipe it off with a paper towel like I'm doing until you see all signs of kind of overt greasiness and what have you go away. Now I got a little oil on the finish, no big deal, mineral oil is not going to hurt the finish so I just wipe that off with a dry one, dry paper towel. Then I make sure I get any steel wool off of there before I remove it, okay? And then I remove my tape, throw it away, and now I would restring the instrument. In this case, I'm going to show you what I would do if I've recently done the steel wool and just need to oil the fingerboard. So, that being the case, I would just use a paper towel, fold it like so, put some mineral oil on the paper towel, okay? And I'd rub it on the fingerboard surface. Again, we're only doing this on ebony or rosewoods, woods that have enough oil in them that they don't need to be spray finished. So your bird's eye maples, if you did have a pow, um, pow amarillo, yellow heart, or purple heart uh, fingerboard, you would not do this because you would just be putting oil on top of paint. So that's it. This has been oiled. I would then take a dry paper towel and rub it off. Again, if you play regularly and you have and you sweat a lot, three months is ideal. If you don't play regularly and don't sweat much, you could go as long as six months. You shouldn't go years and years and years. Your fingerboard could crack. And it just, it's just kind of the care and feeding of your fingerboard. Now, if I wasn't on a video and didn't want to waste your time, I'd restring the instrument, retune it, and we'd be good to go. So that's it. Uh, again, www.federa.com. We have a lot more detail there under the caring for your Federa section. In the meantime, enjoy your bass and take care of it.